Hi everyone, it's Mark here and as you know, this last weekend um, on Sunday we were dealing with uh, the next part of our Galatians series, which is in Galatians 1 verse 6 to 10. And I'm going to read that um, set of verses for you now again. It says in verse 6, I'm astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Now, there is no other gospel, but some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if for an angel would preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let that person or an angel be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. For I am not, I am not seeking the approval of man, but of God. And this is what Paul was really after. He was trying to help people understand that the gospel is so important that we need to keep it free from any kind of distortion. In fact, unwittingly and unknowingly, we can very easily fall into distortion by adding anything to the gospel. And as I explained on Sunday, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ was the gospel that Jesus preached. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom of God and that the kingdom of God was coming to the earth, but that Jesus would be the way, the truth, and the life into that kingdom. And so Jesus tells Nicodemus in John 3, he says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God talking to them basically about how it is that someone goes from being born and only realizing this physical world to being born again and being able to access our spiritual world as well, being connected to God and being one with Him. And that this happens purely through what Jesus has done for us and has no real bearing on anything that we've done for ourselves bar obviously accepting that which Jesus has done for us. And so when we begin to add things to the gospel and we say things like, well, you know, I mustn't do this and I mustn't do that. And then this is somehow now going to qualify me to be good enough for God. We are then saying to God that the price of entrance um, is Jesus plus something else, not Jesus alone. And this is what Paul was addressing within Galatia because there were people coming around trying to say to them that they need to follow the old Jewish practices as well as being circumcised in order to truly qualify and Paul was completely astonished and even called this decision to believe another gospel which isn't really a gospel at all some sort of desertion some sort of desertion that that is paramount to deserting Jesus himself and so as you're listening to this, I'd like you to just consider a couple of questions. At what point is the truth distorted that it is a lie? That's the first question. At what point is the truth distorted to such a degree that it becomes a lie? The second question is, if we want to be free and we know that the truth sets us free indeed, then how do we make sure that what we are believing is the truth and how can we remove distortion? And then lastly, the question I'd like to ask you is, is there another gospel? Or maybe differently asked, have you perhaps believed another gospel other than the one that Jesus preached? So hopefully you guys enjoy your discussion about the subject as you go through the verse yourself God bless. Have an awesome evening. Cheers.